once upon a time on Coconut Island, the president of Coconut Island, Jacob Goodrich, realized that there was something missing. They had a lawmaking branch that made all the laws, and Jacob enforced all the laws, but he realized that there was nobody to judge all the laws. So he held a contest to determine who the most smart and good-looking people were on all of Coconut Island. And at the end of the contest, Sally and Jonas won as being the smartest, most good-looking people on all of Coconut Island. So they were appointed as the co-Supreme Court justices um, of Coconut Island. And this was beautiful. Um, but I need one more person on webcam for the story to work. And it was beautiful. And it happened just in time because the very next day, Garrett and Caleb got in a huge fight. And this was like the biggest fight that had ever been seen on Coconut Island. So this huge argument comes in. They get taken to the court to be able to determine you know, who is right and who is wrong in this case. And Jonas and Sally are, are really anxious and really excited because now, finally, the Supreme Court is going to have a job. It's going to be able to do something. It's going to make a good difference in the life of the Coconut Islands citizens. But that night, something crazy happened. There was a huge earthquake that divided the island in half and separated the two halves of the island by like a hundred miles, like the tectonic plates shifted. This island split and divided. Now the crazy thing about this is that it divided the prison right in half. And Garrett and Caleb ended up on opposite island. But the good thing is it also divided the court in half and Jonas ended up on the half of the island with Caleb and Sally ended up on the island with Garrett. So while this could have been real tragedy because this issue might not have been resolved. Thankfully, you know, one judge ended up with one of the people in the case, and one of the judges ended up with one of the other people, so they could con continue going forward with this court case. Now, they were really creative, and so Jonas decided what better name to call the first half of the island than Coco Island. And it it was really convenient that Sally ended up calling the second half of the island Nut Island. So Coconut Island dissolved and Coco Island was born and Nut Island was born. Now on Coco Island, Jonas had a decision to make. How is he going to rule on this case? And he decided to implement something called judicial review. Now what judicial review means is that when Jonas rules on the case of Caleb versus Garrett, not only does his ruling apply to the case of Caleb versus Garrett, but it sets a precedence for every single case in the future that's similar to Caleb versus Garrett. So in effect, while he is only ruling on one case, he's actually ruling on hundreds of cases in the future because future justices have to look back to Jonas and see how did Jonas rule in this situation? Oh, okay, well, then that's obviously the ruling. Now, so this created, there's some pros and cons to this system. This makes it so it's one and done decisions. For every similar case to Caleb and Garrett, you automatically know what the outcome is because it was determined years ago when Jonas ruled. This is way more efficient because the, the Supreme Court doesn't have to see as many cases. It rules, or lower courts don't have to see as many cases. The Supreme Court rules once, and from then on, from the Supreme Court down to the smallest local courts, they all know what the ruling is because it's been determined. It also gives the Supreme Court a lot more power. So if something is unconstitutional, the Supreme Court just fixes it. Or if Jonas thinks something's unconstitutional, he just fixes it. He doesn't have to consult with anybody. He can just go in and say, that's not wrong. I'm going to fix it. And since all the lower courts have to follow what I say, I'm just going to change it right there. Now, on that island, Sally did a different way. She didn't implement judicial review. 
Instead, she held cases one by one. She made case by case decisions. So her ruling of Garrett versus uh, Caleb applied just to Garrett versus Caleb. If a similar court case came up in the future, she or a lower judge would have to determine that court case, weigh both sides, and come up with their own decision. This made it more safe in that if she made a bad decision, hundreds of years later weren't impacted by that bad decision she made. But it also made it a lot more burdensome. Judges had to see a lot more cases. Also, if something's unconstitutional, Sally just couldn't fix it. Sally, Sally couldn't rule once and determine the fate of Nut Island. If she ruled once, you know, if, if a law was unconstitutional, she would have to rule every single situation under that law and say, okay, that law is unconstitutional, you don't get punished. Oh, that law is unconstitutional, you don't get punished. It would require the legislature to actually fix that law. You can see the difference between Cocoa Island with judicial review, Nut Island without judicial review. Cocoa Island, the, leg the judicial power, the judicial branch has a lot of power because it can decide if the law is unconstitutional. On Nut Island, the judicial branch doesn't have as much power. It can only determine if it can only determine the outcome of the case, and if a law is unconstitutional, the legislative branch would have to fix it. So, Caleb, that's a great question. It depends on which island you're on. On Nut Island, Caleb won and Garrett lost, so Garrett had to go in jail. And on Coco Island, Garrett won and Caleb lost. So you both ended up in jail, and even though you both won, you both ended up in jail. So it was really disappointing to you but really happy for the rest of the islanders. Okay, so question, which island would you want to live on? Let's say you have an important court case. Which island would you want to live on? Or you just want a peaceful society? Coconut, Cocoa Island or Nut Island? So go ahead and poll. Green check mark if you would vote Cocoa Island, where you have judicial review. One of does decisions, it's more efficient, the judicial power has, the judicial branch has more power. Red X, if you would choose Nut Island, case-by-case -case decisions, it's more safe from judicial, you know, judicial power, you know, judicial abuse of power, it, and it gives the legislature more power. Something unconstitutional, the legislature needs to fix it. So go ahead and poll for about 10 more seconds, and then we'll take some opinions. Okay, Cade. Cade, why would you choose Nut Island? It looks like Cade's typing response. While Cade's typing, Mark Hansen, why would you choose Nut Island? Okay, a couple of people are typing in while they are typing. Liz, why would you choose Cocoa Island? I chose Cocoa Island because it's more consistent and reliable, I guess, because the punishment for something is all the same. So if I steal someone's coconuts, I guess, the ruling is going to be the same for if, if somebody else stole the coconuts, if that makes sense. So it doesn't depend on the judge or what mood the judge woke up on that day, right? Is what I hear you saying, Liz. You know, because it's determined, right? Whatever the highest court rules on stealing coconuts, you just know that's how it's going to work. Whatever, you know, the highest court's ruled, stealing coconuts is punishable by 50 hours of community service. Whereas if it's on Nut Island, what I'm extrapolating from your comment is, it might depend on the judge. You know, one judge might be like, you know what? I'm feeling really generous today. Just, you know, give them, you know, give them a high five and say you won't do it again and you're okay. And another judge might be like, you know what? The last life. Coconuts, that's important life sentence for you right now. Okay, what do you guys think? Is Liz right? Would you agree with that? Cade and Mark in the, Cade says, because I feel it would be better so I would get a better thing out of it if I were convicted of a crime, more personalized decision. So Kate, on the other hand, says, well, but I want it to be personalized. Maybe my stealing 50 coconuts is different from another person stealing 50 coconuts. I want a personalized decision. Mark, probably because it appeals to me as a person, it's safer, okay? Uh, Garrett and then Caleb. So we'll hear from the two imprisoned people. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'm more inclined towards the non-judicial review version, and um, 
so ideally, I guess, in judicial review, the decisions are going to stay the same, but I, I think that to some extent that gets a little bit ignored. That's, I, I'm, I kind of see that system in the U.S. Supreme Court. That's what it looks like for me anyway. But sometimes you see things like, well, we ruled this before, but actually we shouldn't have ruled that, so we're actually going to change our ruling. Like, I, I, ideally, I think it works like that, but I think more often than not, people just kind of tend to ignore that. Um, and I agree with Cade that the personalized decision, because it's like, well, a hundred years ago, this person decided something, but a hundred years ago was different from now. And maybe, you know, so maybe a hundred years ago, some woman tried to vote and she got ruled against, but now a hundred years from now, a woman tries to vote, but she shouldn't get ruled against because now it's legal. But, you know, just think, things like that, situation changes. Caleb, what do you think? I think I agree with both Liz and Cade that yes, we need to have, you know, kind of a steady, firm hand in what like a ruling is and how these things work, but then they also need to be personalized because uh, not every situation will be exactly the same. There will be some things that will be different and some things that will be the same, and you kind of have to take the best of both worlds and mix them together to create the perfect system even though it's probably not perfect, um, but it gives you a better result because you get, uh, uh, from the judicial review, you get the, the constant punishment and the constant always, but then from the other side, you get the more personalized punishment and you mix those together and it creates, uh, I think, a better result overall.